Hi, my name is Abdur Rahman from Maple Systems and I'll be going over the float to integer ladder instruction in this video tutorial. First, let's go over to an empty subroutine and hover over the conversion tab. Now place the float to integer ladder instruction on the first rung. Now that we know where the instruction is located and what it looks like, let's go over to screen number 10 and place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right hand side of the screen. When the coil B1000 turns on, or in other words, when we press the convert button, the float to int ladder instruction executes and the floating point value in register D1020, which must have 4 bytes allocated to it, will be converted to an integer value and stored in register D1010, which also must have 4 bytes allocated to it. The floating point value follows the IEEE 754 standard. Let's determine how to properly display the precision of a floating point value. Let's first hover over the show data button and drag and drop the numeric display. Let's go into the properties of the numeric display and change the font from 5x7 to 10x14. Now click on the little expand button next to the format property. We have two sub properties under format the digits after decimal point and the number of digits. These options are pretty self explanatory, so I'll just do a quick example. Let's say that we want to have a number in the hundredth range, but we also want to have a decimal precision in the hundredth range also. Let's enter a 2 in the digits after decimal point attribute and a 4 in the number of digits attribute. Let's see if this is the result that we want, and it is. Now let's go over to an HMC and review the screen. So first let's input the following numbers in the floating point register. 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see the first two digits 1 and 2 are in front of the decimal and the last two digits 3 and 4 are behind the decimal. Now let's press the convert button and see what happens. 12.34 gets converted to 12 as an integral value. Now let's enter another number and see what happens. And it works just fine. Now let's enter 99.99 .99 and see what happens. And it works as expected. And that concludes our video tutorial. For more information please contact Maple Systems or visit us online at maplesystems.com.